A behavioral health facility in Tulsa shuts its doors. Shadow Mountain announced plans to close last week, and now many families needing long-term help for their children are searching for new options. Two Works for You's Tatiana Taylor spoke with other mental health professionals about how this is going to affect the community and what parents should consider before making a decision. Karen, I'm here in front of the facility that closed on July 5th. Shadow Mountain says that their number one priority now is the safe and seamless transition of their patients to an appropriate environment. Of course, this just, you know, this is just one more entity uh, related to mental health and young people that has shuttered. Greg Conway is the CEO of the Tulsa Boys Home. His organization takes in teens dealing with emotional, behavioral, and substance abuse problems, the kinds of kids previously referred to Shadow Mountain. Uh, Shadow Mountain played a very, um, a very important and very specific role um, in the community for teenagers and you know all young people that have uh, mental health, emotional types of issues. Conway says many facilities that specialize in the care of acute mental health issues for youth have closed over the years in Oklahoma. He says the closure of Shadow Mountain won't leave many options for families. Concern is going to be uh, resources for other people in the community like parents um, and legal guardians who have custody of teenage children, boys and girls who have acute mental health needs. Therapist Jaylee Miller says parents are the original therapists. He believes more can be done before children are sent to facilities like Shadow Mountain. As being a therapist is sometimes I wonder, you know, if if parents, you know, were were more involved with their kids, were asking more questions, if more, I don't know, like, you know, dinner around the table was happening, you know. If you or someone you know is looking for care for a child with emotional, behavioral, or substance issues, check out our website at kjrh.com. There you will find a list of questions that parents should ask when looking for a child care provider. Reporting live in Tulsa, Tatiana Taylor, Two Works For You.